Hey guys, I've got an Aprilia SR50 here. Um, we're going to show you today how to change the clutch springs in the standard clutch. Um, so we're going to show you a couple of ways. We've got a rattle gun here, um, and we've also got our variator tool. So we're going to show you both ways um, as we um, get through this. Right, so we've popped the clutch cover off. You see here, there's a variator over here and our um, clutch bell just there, and the clutch is just inside there. So what we're going to have to do now is pop this 15mm uh, nut off here. So you'll see on your variator tool, if you've got one, um, it has these little grommets here that you can use to jam into the holes on this so you can get your 15mm uh, socket onto there uh, and between the two of them um, lock off the bell so you can, with that shaft, so you can undo that 15mm uh, nut. We're going to use a rattle gun because we've got one, but um, if, um, if you don't, um, this is um, one way of doing it. So we're going to go ahead and take that off and we'll show you what's inside. Alright, so we've got that nut off. We're going to go pop the bell off. We've got the clutch there attached to the torque driver. We're going to go ahead and pull that whole assembly off. So you see Ray there, he's squeezing the spring so he can easily get it off, loosen the belt off a little bit. So there's the whole torque driver. So we're going to go ahead and unbolt um, that there. So I'll just show you. This nut here is the same size as on your variator tool. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. The way we do it is obviously with a rattle gun. But um, one easy way to do it is to sit it on the floor, um, hold it with your feet. Um, definitely don't use a vice because you'll end up damaging this. So if you sit on the floor, hold it with your feet. Um, with a bit of effort, you should be able to get this nut off. So but we're going to go ahead and use a, uh, a rattle gun with a socket. We'll pop it off and we'll show you um, what it looks like from the other side. Here. This is the part, uh, the inside part that you don't see from uh, the outside of taking the bell off. So you see um, you've got your three pivots there with three individual shoes. So as this works, that bit's obviously fixed. As this spring stretches, um, the shoe throws out and grabs onto the inside of the bell. So the stiffer these springs are, the more centrifugal force or rotation um, these shoes will need um, to actuate out and grab onto the bell. So the stiffer they are, the later engagement you get. So this uh, clutches off a, uh, an SR that we're tuning at the moment. So what we're going to go ahead and do, these um, these clutch springs are actually too stiff on this bike. So we're going to go ahead and change them back to a lighter set. Uh, these ones are engaging too late, um, and they're um, actually making the takeoff worse. So we're going to change these to a lighter set. I'm going to show you how we do it. So just popping that last spring off now, so you see Ray's... Um, uh, actually just using a couple of tools to pop the old spring off. They're really, really heavy springs, these ones. So the T-bar hook tool that we we'll usually use probably won't work on these. So you see as well what we've done with a wooden bench. We've just bolted the clutch to the bench by the little holes there, which is easy to doing it because um, the springs can often be really tough. Bit of force required to get those ones off. All right, we're going to go ahead and Chuck the other ones back in. So we've got our T-bar hook tool here, which is T-bar with a hook on the end of it to pull springs. So we're going to go ahead and pop this spring back into place. There we go. So Ray's just going to tap that down now. Get it in place. There you go. It's pretty normal for some of the paint to chip off. But, uh, it's just paint, obviously. But I'm um, going to go ahead and chuck the other two back in. And um, off we go. Right, so we've put these white springs back into this clutch. These are some springs that we tested earlier. That's why some of the paint's a little bit more chipped off. But, um, uh, and they were really good. We were just testing the yellow ones. So we're going to go ahead and chuck this back on the torque driver. So pretty much the exact rever uh, reverse process of getting it off. Um, it's just popping it on there, lining up the, um, the little flat spots there, and um, uh, basically pushing the spring down with your feet and doing that and that up. As you do it, be very careful because it is um, relatively easy, especially if you're using a rattle gun, to uh, misalign the thread on this nut and um, damage uh, either the torque driver or the nut quite badly. So um, when you're doing it, um, we normally um, will push the clutch all the way down and um, always, always feed the nut on by hand first uh, and just use the tool or the rattle gun um, as the very last um, little bit just to get it tight. We're going to go ahead and do that and um, get it back on the bike. Right, there we go. 
we know that it's tight, use the rubber gun. Alright, there we go. Alright, so the process to get this back on, obviously you've got your spring here, so if you squeeze the torque driver um, towards the clutch there, the outer plate of it, um, you're going to be able to get the belt further in. As you do that, you're going to be able to get the torque driver on. Makes more sense as it happens. If uh, but So we'll just let Ray go ahead and put that back on. So you squeeze torque driver, get the belt in there. So it gives you enough space to get it back onto a spline there. There we go. Clutch bell back on. Nut back on. Alright, because we've um, gone ahead and squeezed the torque driver here so we can get it back in, we've put all this slack in the belt, which we don't want when we start the bike back up. So, I'm just going to go ahead and rotate the variator so that it um, naturally tensions the belt with that torque spring, which it's done a little bit. There we go, that should be enough. So clutch cover back on. And then um, we'll nip all the bolts up and that's it, you're done. Good for a test ride. So that's, um, that's at least how we change our, um, our clutch springs in uh, the standard clutch with the Molossi Fly Clutch and other clutches. It's pretty much the exact same method. So um, hopefully it gives you a little bit of confidence to try it at home. Happy scooter tuning.